everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Anime and I would love if you subscribed. Today's video is, as you can tell by the title, my March favourites, but it's actually kind of like my February and March favourites. I have a lot of random things in this favourites video, but it's a bit of a twist. I also have some things that are not my favourite this month, um, but let's just get right into the video. So there are a couple things in this video that I don't actually have to like physically show you. Um, one of them is the Nature Valley, if you know the Nature Valley granola bars, the Nature Valley peanut butter. It's the crunchy one. It's actually not one of the chewy ones, which I usually prefer, but the Nature Valley peanut butter crunchy bar is so good. I was living off them when I was rehearsing a lot and they're just so, so nice. Um, way better. I don't like the maple flavor one. I don't like the original one. I pretty much don't like any of them except for the peanut butter one. So definitely give that a try random favorite. Also other random favorite are naps. I took the best nap of my life in February. Um, I was just so tired and I was able to just go to sleep for like 45 minutes, wake up perfectly refreshed. It was wonderful. After a 9am class I didn't have another class to like one so it was just so good. That's definitely a favorite. So I think I'll just start into like the physical favorites now and go back to the ones that I don't have to show you but First of all, I have this top that I got from Gap, which if you like, you should be able to find because it's from part of the new stock, but it is so cute and it's it looks like it's this chambray material and it kind of kicks up at the side. I have photos on my Instagram of me wearing this, so follow me at anime.yt, it's also linked down below. But um, it's just so cute and it's got like little three quarter length sleeves, the little ruffle. I love it so much and I've actually been able to wear it a lot. And the reason I said it looks like a chambray is that it's actually not. It's ten tensile. It's made out of cellulose so it's actually a very sustainable fabric. Which is very exciting because denim, if you didn't know, is super bad for the environment. And yeah, it makes me happy that this isn't as bad for the environment and it's super cute. The other clothing item I have is actually a jumper from French Connection, but my mom found it on really, really good sale. I think she got it for like 25 euro. She got it for me. It was originally 70 or 80 euro. And it is this large, it's so soft, this sweater from French Connection. And it's got the kind of sleeves where it like, cuts off like that which typically I don't like but it just sits so well and the sleeves are ribbed compared to the regular body and then it's got a bit of a ribbed detail down the back but it has a slit in the side and what's really good it's probably just because I'm so short but I love this because it's like I don't really wear leggings as pants unless they're like workout leggings um just because I think like cotton leggings are not they're not pants at all but this actually covers, like, it absolutely covers my whole butt, which is amazing. That never happens. Um, I have quite a big butt. So this is an extra small. It's so soft. The colour is not fab on me. But I still wear this all the time because it's so soft and warm. And it, like, covers, you know, you kind of got to, even if it's low at the back, you kind of got to cover the crotch area as well. Just because it's weird if you're wearing leggings. So when you're feeling really lazy but still want to look cute, this is perfect and I've been wearing this a lot this month. So kind of an accessory favourite are these bracelets from Sashka Co. So you've probably seen these on Instagram. If you follow me on in it, me on my Instagram you would have seen them because I signed up to be like a rep for them um, because these bracelets are actually fair trade. So that's what really appealed to me if you haven't seen my politics and ethics series, you should go watch it. Um, and it's, I know that there are some like issues with declaring something as fair trade um, because there isn't an overall monitoring body like you might think there is, depending on the industry. I know for farming, I think there is, but for other industries, it's harder to, for garment industries typically. So bracelets will be included in that. But these bracelets, they roll on, they're so cute and colourful. I really want to get some like corals and some fun ones for the summertime. But yeah, I'll just roll a couple on now so you can see. So you just roll them on like that. And I have quite small wrists and they fit really nicely. So I've really been enjoying these. I've been wearing them all the time. And if you want to get 25% off, you can use the discount code ANIME25, all caps in ANIME. And I think I have that in the description bar anyways as well. So 
I would definitely suggest them. Also, there's free international shipping for all you international peeps, and I didn't have to pay import duty, which happens if you're American or Canadian, maybe you don't know, but sometimes if you order something from the US, and the reason I wouldn't order like a t-shirt or something like that, if it was, even if they did ship internationally, is that they might charge you like up to, up to I think 70 euro is the amount that they can charge, but it's usually about 30, they'll charge you for like the shipping and the import duty and because it's complicated, but it's not fun. Anyways, uh, no one wants to just be met at the door and you're like, yay, my package. And they're like, that's 34 euro, please. And you're like, <laughs> so none of that with these and free international shipping. And you can get really good deals. They always have um, really good, like I got, the reason I have four is that it was like buy two, get two free. So that's what I did. So kind of a random one, this Wet n Wild lip gloss, I don't know if there's like a colour, it's the Mega Slicks, oh here we go, cotton candy, but it's pretty much clear to be very honest, but I love this, it's just, it's cruelty free as well, I knew Wet n Wild was cruelty free, I went there when I was looking, I had to get black eyeshadow for um, the dance competition that I was involved in and I decided to go for Wet n Wild, it's so inexpensive, it's cruelty free. And I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna try lip gloss because I don't like matte lip products. I love this. It's kind of like a lip balm, you just stick it on, it's just girly, it's fun, and it's super inexpensive. So this has definitely been a favourite. So a favourite that kind of has to do with the dance competition I was in, and also just generally being pale, is self tanner. But in particular, this self tanner, it is the Coco Brown one hour tan mousse. Um, I don't know what countries have Coco Brown, Ireland definitely does. Everyone knows Coco Brown. I love the one hour tan mousse. Um, I was tanning for this dance competition. I am extremely pale naturally. So I like being a little bit more bronzed. And this is just so easy to apply. It's never streak been streaky on me. It does go off pretty quickly. So it's a mousse. So when you like squirt it out, it comes out green. Um, but it's quite inexpensive and it says it develops in one hour and lasts for up to seven days. Suggestion, one of the girls on my dance team told me to do, to do this, but I put on a crap ton of this and slept in it instead of like leaving it on for between one and three hours. And then I rinsed it off. I went to my 9am class with it on, looking crazy because I tanned my face as well. And then I showered it off and it looked so good. So I really, really like this. Also, self-tanning. Please tell me if you self tan, you enjoy getting into the shower when you're like rinsing off the excess and all of the like orange coming off you, like all the orangey brown coming off you, like rinsing away your sins. I love it so much. And some people think that's so strange, but I, I love that. But then I'm also sad to see the tan go because I love being tan and I do not actually like use sunbeds or like lay out in the sun majorly. Um, anyways, I can't, I live in Ireland, but yeah, no skin cancer, please. Fake Bake Only and Coco Brown for sure. Favorite for me this uh, month has been stretching. I've been trying to stretch a lot more, especially like since I've come back from college, like from all the dance competition. I didn't like go to class my last week of college before the spring break because we were um, rehearsing in, in Galway, so I wasn't really able to. But since then, I've been stretching a lot more. I think it's just, I feel like I'm getting old or something. I have just, I've never been the most flexible, but I'm really like fighting losing my flexibility at the moment. So I've been stretching a lot and enjoying it. I do like stretching now, so you know, that's not a problem, but maybe I'll do like a stretch routine or something like that in the near future. But yeah, stretching has been a favorite. So things that have not been my favorite this month, probably not the best to like end on a negative note, but doing it anyways. Uh, shoes, I cannot find shoes that I actually like want to wear. Um, I think it's because it's so cold. It's really, really cold, so it looks kind of bright outside, but it's probably like five degrees Celsius, uh, not very warm, and it's just like generally a problem. Um, it's either boat shoes, but then it's also raining, and then my duck boots, story time on that, my duck boots have like split, all they're the Sperry ones, and they've split all along the rubber sole, so they just let in water, so they're not helpful. Um, and I don't want to wear my cute little ankle boots, because they're suede, so... Yeah, I'm just like struggling with the shoes. Uh, my feet are either really, really cold or I'm just wearing like big chunky shoes. I just cannot wear tall boots at this time of year. It just doesn't go because I can't wear it with like bright colors and like flowy tops. 
I still have to wear jumpers because it's cold. So shoes, not a favorite. Also, going along with that, the weather is not a favorite. It's still freaking cold here. Um, it, it always is, but it was kind of like a little bit nicer. It was kind of more springy. And then it's like sleeting all the time. We don't like get snow typically, like proper snow, at least where I'm from in Ireland because we're too close to the coast. Um, so we just get sleet and hail. So that's not fun, especially when you're driving. Uh, the other thing that has not been my favourite this month, I love how I'm just complaining, uh, is my hair. So if you can tell, you're like, hey, where'd your hair go? I don't know. Uh, I got a haircut, looked to get about an inch off. And yeah, my hair was in like shit condition, but like my hair always is. It's just, I have very brittle hair. So um, about four inches to five inches of my hair is gone. And I'm not happy about it, so... There you have it. My last video was like super zoomed in because I'm like, oh my god, don't see how short my hair is. I look like a little Christmas tree when my hair is shorter, so not enjoying that. Um, so they're my not favourites and I hope you enjoyed my actual favourites for March and February as well. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I have some fun travel plans this summer and I will be doing a couple of videos like prepping for a mission trip, which I think will be interesting. So that is it for this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.